We're joined now by an artist who just performed at Lollapalooza who really needs no introduction, but I'm going to go ahead and let him say who he is. Go ahead. I'm Matthew Santos. How you doing? Matthew is now performing with Lupe Fiasco and just performed at Lollapalooza in front of how many people would you say were out there? 70 to 100,000, I'm guessing. So what's it like? You look out there and you're like, people and people and more people. It was actually kind of tripped out. I almost had to, almost lost my balance once because everyone's hands were in the air and all I could see was flesh waving from side to side. It looked like an ocean of, of hands. It's pretty tripped out. Now Matthew's done the Glow in the Dark tour with Lupe and that's been uh, arenas, but you get into this festival setting and it's just like a whole nother level, but you're actually saying this was not the most people you performed in front of. It was close, but Glastonbury in, in uh, the UK was may have may have outdone it as far as people with attendance. Are you ever like nervous? I mean, before you get in front of all those people, you know the worst of your song. You've done it, God knows how many times, but you still get up there and you have to perform. Yeah, you know, it's like I get a little butterflies like a, like a few minutes before I actually go first go to get on stage, but up until then everything's smooth sailing, and after the first song everything's good too. So it's just it's just the first initial nervousness. Now we got together with Matthew a little bit over a year ago, and he kind of had like this clean cut look going on, a little grungy look. Now I mean he's got like the faux hawk going, you know the white oh, I'm sorry the white t-shirt, the flashy jeans. Was this kind of like a coming of age look, kind of, or just kind of feel natural now? It just kind of developed when I was too because I was wearing the same shit every day, you know, so, I mean, I don't know, I guess it's a change of preference after, after you actually hit the road for a little bit and you, you indulge in that lifestyle, you, your preferences change dramatically for some reason, so I don't know, maybe it's just a reaction to my environment. Hey, I like it, I like it, it's like a little bit more like rock star look, that's, that's kind of like, I guess, what's, what's cool these days, I don't know. You know, it's funny because last year at Lollapalooza, when Lupe came through, we were kind of talking about the up-and-coming artists, and you were one of them, and we kind of talked about how you were going to get your time, and do you feel like this is kind of your time now? I hope this isn't my time because it's still Lupe time, you know, but uh, I'm, I consider myself still up-and-coming because we're working on our own album, you know, we're still a young band, I got my own project going on, so we're still very, very young. We haven't yet dropped to the world. And Matthew mentions his own band. Kind of tell people about your band if they don't know much about it yet. Well, our band is like more of a indie rock, folk, uh, soul fusion type of feel. So it's, you know, it's uh, it's with my favorite people in the world. Luckily, it's like my family. So uh, you know, we're, we're working hard on the album right now. We're, we're recording in Chicago. Anything else you want to say to people out there? Uh, just look out for the album. Hopefully, it's going to be done late this year, if not early next year. And it's uh, it's going to be a fresh sound. I promise you. So just just keep your ears to the ground. She is got it under her belt, but y'all didn't hear that from me. She is got the secrets unsaid, but she's got shadows in her shoebox. Yeah, shoebox. Yeah, yeah. 